Gary YouTube, I'm back again for more of our Origins Bonanza Explosion Lost Coverage Real Live at Origins 2018. Thanks in part to Tasty Minstrel Games, who sponsors everything we do, and our amazing Kickstarter backers from last year. Right now, I'm about to talk about a upcoming game, an upcoming, upcoming deck building game from S Genius Games, that is Sub Atomic. This is for two to four players, 40 to 60 minutes to play, and it is a deck building particle creating game that went way over my head because I never really was particularly good at science but essentially you're taking red and blue and making big red and blue and those are protons and neurons and electrons and then it's got two rows that you're gonna be able to purchase cards out so you'll start getting you know little rinky dig cards in your hand and you'll get to like these hey these are pretty good medium weight cards and then you can eventually get to the really big cards which can do very powerful things and there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. I'm gonna do my best to try and cover all the different areas, but you're purchasing those cards in order to gain protons, neutrons, and uh, the yellow one, the bright lights, fluorons, we'll call them fluorons. Um, electrons, that's it. And you're using all three of those to purchase these cards, which are big numbered victory points. And that's also the end, one of the end game, I believe it's the only end game edition, where once someone gets five of these cards, at least that's what happened in a two player game, then whoever's the most points will be the winner of the game. But also when you take one of these cards, you get to put cubes on this little area control thing on the left side of the board. And in addition, this area control thing also had special abilities, which if you were the first person to put your cube there, you could, you could take one of the special abilities that was there and then it would go away and no one else could use it. So there was a good deal going on with this game. Uh, and on your turn, it was a pretty straightforward deck builder. For the most part, you're gonna draw five cards. The interesting thing about this game was if you had three cards of the same type of cards, you could, boom, get rid of a card and draw a new card. So it was somewhat uh, forgiving in that aspect. And then you're going to either use the cards for whatever is on the cards, or you could just get rid of any card you want, put in your discard pile and get energy. And this energy tokens you could use to purchase super duper fancy cards that uh, there were four of them out. Uh, that were actually scientists and they did all sorts of really powerful stuff or you could use it to trash cards there's actually a trash meter at the top of the board that goes progressively up so the first person to trash gets a discount and the second person might get a discount and then it's like three three four or something like that until eventually everybody's paying four energy to trash cards lots of stuff going on and my impressions overall were very skeptical i i, I like the game don't get me wrong i think it's a good game but I think there were definitely scrapping. I think scrapping was really the issue I had with this game. Uh, the guy I demoed it with was like, yeah, I played a game where I only had six cards. And I quickly realized I was also probably going to be doing that as well because it was just way too easy to scrap my cards. And scrapping two of those cards is even bigger. Now that being said, when before you scrap cards, you need to make sure that you're also acquiring energy because energy is super important to get in this game. But honestly, I feel like in my second gameplay of this, I would just absolutely crush because I would be able to trash exactly what I wanted to trash and make sure that my hand was well balanced enough that I would be able to just continue getting protons and neutrons and electrons and buying more cards. And it just, I don't know, maybe it's just all my experiences ever with deck building, but getting rid of all your basic starting crappy cards is such a huge accomplishment in most games. It's like, I've done it maybe four or five times in Star Realms, and I was like, yes, I got rid of all of them. You know, doing that is supposed to be difficult. In this game, it just wasn't difficult at all. And I think that's what really kind of soured me on the game and, and repeat plays of the game. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's the efficient thing to do, and it seems like the optimal thing to do if you want to have a chance to win. And I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it just didn't do it for me. I thought it was a good game. I didn't think it was a great game. And it probably would be one, you know what? Yeah, it probably be one that I'd never really have the interest to play again because I feel like I would have a leg up on somebody unless they knew the strategy. But then, I, I don't know if I'd really enjoy just trying to out-optimize each other. But I guess that's what every single game is. So yeah, Subatonic from Genius Games. I thought it was okay. Just not something that I think I'd want to check out again. But hey, might be your cup of tea. Who knows? If you're enjoying this Origins coverage, please turn to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know. Science, yay or nay? For me personally, yeah, I freaking love science. I love reading about science and all the cool stuff they're doing. I subscribe to Futurology on Reddit and I just love all that stuff. Now, actually learning science, 
Uh, no, no, it's not for me. Uh, just phew, way over my head. I get super duper bored. Let me know in the comments below. Science. Yay or nay. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.